Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your bonus love reading. This one's not going to be for every Sagittarius, but there is a strong energy that comes through that feels like a fire, frustration, and I heard the words, I'm done. So darlings, um, you'll know if that resonates with you or not, but let's get straight into the reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and I really wasn't prepared or planning to do this. Um, but one, I, I am procrastinating because I'm meant to be studying, but two, the energy was so strong that literally I can't really do anything until I do this reading for you. So let's get started. Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Crystal Communications. Two helicopters just flew over. The reason that I am doing your reading is the message came through to do your reading. Oh my goodness. And a, a hawk just flew over as well. So we had two helicopters and, and then a hawk just flew over to deliver this message. Uh, such a strong energy that has come through. It's full of passion. It's full of fire. That is change. It feels like the wheel is turning. It feels very much like you're in your empress energy. You have cut something out. I heard somebody say, I am done. And this new energy, this passion is being aligned into your destiny. So let's get started with the card, sweethearts. We're going to draw from the Romance Angel deck here first. And all of the crystals you can find in the crystal store. And turn them over. Past life relationship. This situation that you've let go of, Sagittarius, if it was felt difficult to um, to release because it, you know, it, it ran deep. A past life relationship is something that, you know, there's ties throughout time. And so when you have dreams and memories and, you know, these lifetimes together, it makes it very difficult. However, you have done the healing and you have created this, you know, reverberating throughout time um, of this beautiful healing. There's calling in your soulmate. This is this new love energy. Sagittarius, I'm I'm hearing somebody say you're not done. Um, there's somebody that is not wanting to let go and you are recognizing that you think it's for the best. Um, engagement. So this is your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Somebody is wanting to sort of come forward and express their love. I do feel like there's been sort of a situation where there's been no communication or somebody holding back. Let's draw a fairy card here, darlings. And then we're going to get messages from the person you're dealing with. And the situation going forward. So from the fairy deck, it says, go for it. And set your sights high. I do feel like, you know, you are in this Empress energy. And in fact, I'm going to draw from the tarot deck right now. This is the Passion Tarot deck. And, um, you know, everyone gets, I don't know, if the Empress card comes out first, everyone that's watching this gets a crystal. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh my goodness. It's the Seven of Cups. Sweethearts, this is, and by the way, I am going to do a crystal competition. So if you would like to enter, all you need to do is put your name, you know, or, you know, comment on the videos. I'm going to be drawing a, a crystal each month. Seven of Cups is about this passion, okay? You can see their connection here. It's the, I love this card. It's got the tortoise here, you know, the symbol of Zen, of wisdom, enjoying the strawberry dessert together. This is true passion and love, you know, heart to heart connection, Sagittarius. And so much love. Somebody is definitely reminiscing. So this is called the magic of the mint leaves. Um, this card sort of talks about, you know, the magic of aroma. Somebody could be, they might have like a t-shirt that of yours and they're like, you know, <laughs> I know this sounds sort of full on, but this is what it's about where they're just like, Sagittarius, you know, it's um, it's that magic, you know, that reminds them of you. It's like that your perfume, they they smell that perfume, or like even like a dinner, like a meal that you had together, that just reminds them of you. It's like it feels like no matter what they do, it's like you keep like the memories of you and the the fun times you had together. It just keeps following them around, and they're finding it really difficult, Saggy, because they want this love connection. Let's put our crystals here. And yeah, Queen of Pentacles. So, you know, Sagittarius, this is you in this energy of love and abundance. It's like your cup overfloweth and you're able to, you know, express your love in all that you do. And, you know, this is very admirable. And it, because of this, you know, it's like, 
where this situation where it's like somebody was holding back or somebody wasn't communicating you know it feels like you've left this situation or at least you've been you've been thinking about it and they've picked up on this energy where it's like wow you know have i really lost sagittarius like for real this time and you know yes like as the queen of pentacles it's like you are in your self love it's like that is what guides you forward you know and you can't really accept anything less into your world um i'm going to draw a message here from this beautiful new deck which this one's going to be listed in the store as well so if any of you are you know tarot readers this is so gorgeous it's called love potion and it's answered messages from your true love twin flame soulmate connection what does sagittarius this person have to say to them at this time it says i dream of our life together they really they can't stop thinking about you sagittarius it's like these memories you know of your time together and i'm just you know i just feel this you know that message of i'm done is just so clear that i'm just feeling like you're you're channeling your love and passion into other areas it says, I want you in my life. They're not wanting to let go and I can't stop thinking about you. Ah, Sagittarius, um, you know, I feel like you know this because it is this heart-to-heart -heart connection. It has, you know, it, it's from past lifetimes. It's, you know, you, you guys have been through a lot together or you've dreamt, you know, a lot together. It says, I will love you until... Huh, until I am old and gray. It's so beautiful. You know, it's like this love, it goes on, you know, and it's like you recognize this and this is part of the healing that comes with these twin flame soulmate connections is the ability of unconditional love. You know, that love continues on. It's the other things that are transmuted into the, you know, the flame. But, you know, you, it's not going to be holding back your light, your sunshine, Sagittarius, because you realize that by healing yourself, by staying in your light is really how you heal the connection it says our connection is cosmic i can't explain it yeah i feel like your person is really recognizing this connection as well it's like it is unexplainable you know and um this is you know a journey that we go through some people choose the the, the twin flame journey and some people you know we all have soul family so it doesn't make sense, like in the 3D realm, it says, I don't know why the forces were against us. I'm going to put that next to our baby Yoda. <laughs> yeah, it sort of felt like, you know, they felt like everything was, the situations were not supporting, like, it felt like somebody wasn't, um, wasn't treating you with respect, Sagittarius. It's sort of because they were feeling influenced by these outside forces. And yeah, I don't, I don't like that. And I feel like that's sort of like this sense of you just saying, you know what, I, I'm, I'm better than that. This is, I messed up and I know that. They really are regretting what they've done. Let's get one more message here. Whoa, you are like an angel, beautiful. And I'm struggling and working to change this. It takes a lot of healing to come to this place of, you know, unconditional love and connection in such a deep, you know, relationship and i just don't feel like yeah nine of swords they weren't ready to face the truth to have that heart cut heart heart connection it was like the feelings were too deep and so sagittarius it's like they're able to just you know it was sort of based on um you know on lust or on you know sort of shallow conversation rather than what you deserve which is this really deep heart to heart knowing which you know is the basis of the relationship but it was like struggling with their own issues you know and struggling to change this you know they're working towards changing this on the top of the deck, the Knight of Wands, which is a new offer, Sagittarius. This is you, you know, flying free. And here, the Hanged Man, seeing things in a new perspective, coming out of this space of Ten of Swords, of, of no more, you know, of this heartache. Because this is not going to be holding you back anymore. Because you have this new opportunity, Ace of Wands. And you know that this new beginning is worthy of your love. It is worthy of the magic that you bring forward into this you know, this lifetime, this beautiful connection. I'm going to draw a message from your twin flame soulmate. Our fairy cards. It says, wait, don't rush it. Allow nature to take its course. 
and I feel like you know this Sagittarius and this is a message it's like you are recognizing that you're focusing on you and on the moment and on loving the now and it's like anything else it's just it's not serving the highest good and balance it says love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it a great relationship is one that brings both supports and challenges you know there's been this sort of disagreement or where it's like you know brought this ten of swords where you know maybe it's been pointed out where you you said like this situation is you know hurtful and so this is you know something that's caused this imbalance you know and it's by you bringing it to the forefront or by walking away by choosing to not put yourself in the situation and it's caused this sort of like disagreement but i do feel like this person's seeing this in a new perspective now because you know honesty is needed it's like if anything you know you have to be honest with the sagittarius <laughs> you know it's like you cannot be anything but but honest with the saggy let's get a message here I fantasize about you loving me again. They definitely cannot stop thinking about you, Sagittarius, because this passion says, will I ever see you again? And I feel like that's what it is about. It's like this balance of, you know, I am done compared to will I ever see you again and you are not done. And I feel like this conversation is going back and forth, whether it is in, you know, it's like you're talking to each other and you change your mind or whether it's that you, you know, this is happening in the 5D realm you know, in that place of heart connection. Actually, let's draw a message from the spirit deck here. But definitely, Saji, you knew. Yes. Oh my gosh. I was literally about to say this. You knew that there is something better because you knew that you will not, you know, accept this sort of, um, oh my goodness, this energy that is not respectful of your love, your time, you know, and so you understand that it's like, yes, the passion is here, but there is something better for you. And it says no. The answer is no. You are done, Sagittarius. I feel it strongly. Within the next few months. Okay, what's happening within the next few months, Spirit? Let's find out. This was a strong connection and, you know, it's... It's difficult to move through that Ten of Swords energy, but Sagittarius, this fire and that passion that I felt, which is the reason that I'm even sharing this reading, is because it was so strong that it was it was like the wheel had turned and it's sort of like, it's almost like out of your hands now. It's just that luck has turned in your favor. Take a chance, Sagittarius. And let's draw here. Oh, sorry, baby Yoda. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see which card comes forward here from our Passion Tarot. The Sagittarius within the next few months, what are they taking a chance with? Look at this, the lovers. Yeah, you are taking a chance to invite new love into your life, to bring in balance. You know, it's like, Saji, you've given this person this like chance to... You've given them so much time. You've given them so much understanding, so much forgiveness. But there's new love on the horizon, Sagittarius. And you're making a choice here. And it's like... Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is... Oh my... Judgment. This is... The decision has been made. You know, the angels have spoken. And now it's like this new creation... Um, based in love is coming forward and oh my goodness Sagittarius some of you I mean wow I'm feeling like a blockage in throat chakra right now I think some of you are you know you're going to be receiving this correspondence but it feels like either completely cutting ties to the past or there's like a new agreement of this creativity Like seeing eye to eye, finally some balance. The six of cups. It's like you've recognized the re like that you're moving forward. It's like no more heartbreak. You know, you've taken time to reflect on the past. And you, you can stay in that energy forever, Sagittarius. You know, we go through these situations in life, but it's like it's your turn to bloom now, Sagittarius. I'm seeing literally like, 
like a tree it's like these flowers with like the buds on them and they're just they're ready to bloom it's like you are just sparkling shining it's like you're not being held in this you know reminiscing energy because your fire burns bright the king of chalices so you've got the queen and the king of chalices absolutely beautiful you in your light in your abundance being able to share you know from a full cup sagittarius i think of you as soon as i open my eyes sagittarius this energy that's coming through this king energy that's wanting to you know shower you with this love that's offering you an abundance of love that is you know recognizing that you are you know <laughs> it's like he wants to spend time with you you know it's like this gorgeous you know um like it feels like a feast you know like just really enjoying the the um the beauty of life together and you are the only one who can make me feel this way and i really feel that with this this energy it's like you make you make you know your person feel like a king or a queen and sagittarius a hawk just flew over again you make them feel free you make them feel alive like they can be themselves bless Sagittarius, such an honor to read for you. Sending you so much love and light from the top of the deck. It says, I denied my feelings for you. They know, Saji, that they sabotaged the connection. They know you were meant to be together, but you've moved on. They have cried tears. Oh my goodness, oceans of tears for you. But it's the king of swords. Cutting free of this energy. You know, the healing has been reverberated throughout timelines. And here you are standing strong in your power, Sagittarius. Sending you so much love and light. Trusting in divine timing. Bless you, Saji. I shall see you next time. I hope that this resonated in some way, helped in some way. Oh, let's draw um, a message for February 14. The Eight of Chalices. Oh. This is a mutual love, Sagittarius. This is, you know, giving and receiving love of the highest order. Wishing you so much love and light. Ciao for now. Bye, Sagittarius.